And guys, in this next news story, police have released some footage which shows how a gang attacked police and cut their way into a cash machine at a takeaway in the West Midlands in just two of more than a dozen attacks carried out across the county. The Birmingham gang used vehicles stolen in burglaries to target shops, used force to threaten anyone who got in their way. But today they were beginning lengthy jail sentences with a combined total of more than 30 years after a major Westminster police investigation unmasked them and brought them down. The gang struck over the space of a year between 2022 and 2023 in places as far afield as Gloucestershire, Oxfordshire, Warwickshire and West Mercia. The four men admitted conspiracy to burgle and conspiracy to handle stolen vehicles and goods, but each of the men admitted their roles in only some of the raids. In between them, they admitted taking part in 17 different offences. The gang admitted handling stolen fire service cutting equipment. Westminster's police traced some of it back to a break-in in Warwickshire where £50,000 worth of specialist tools were stolen from a station in 2022. On August 31st last year, Rhys Pedley was among a group of men who arrived at Snappy Tomato Pizza in Coventry and used specialist cutting equipment to steal thousands of pounds from the cash machine. On the 7th last year, 7th of September last year, all four of the men struck at a Tesco in Cheltenham. A stolen BMW on force plates pulled up and three of the gang used a saw and crowbars to force their way into the cash machine whilst the four acted as a lookout. As police arrived, the gang threw rocks and bricks at officers forcing one of the officers to crouch behind his car. Another threw a brick at the front passenger window where an officer was sat. The gang rammed the police car out of the way before making off. They caused damage estimated to cost over £1 million to a Tesco Express and a neighbouring baker's when sparks from an angle grinder they used caused a fire in Kenilworth. The West Midlands Major Crime Proactive Team who worked with officers in West Mercia, Warwickshire, Gloucestershire, Thames Valley and Wiltshire Police. Using a combination of mobile phone data, CCTV vehicle tracking data and witness accounts, the gang was identified and arrested in November and December last year. Birmingham Crown Court just the other day. Justin Buckley, who's 40 years old, from Birmingham was jailed for 8 years and 4 months. Chris Hans, who's 37, was jailed for 9 years and 6 months. Reese Pedley, who's 34, was jailed for 7 years and 7 months. And John O'Shaughnessy, who's 36, was jailed for 8 years. Detective Constable Edward Costello from the Major Crime Proactive Team said this was a professional organised criminal gang who stole hundreds of thousands of pounds from businesses and weren't afraid to use force to get what they wanted. They threatened and used significant force against civilians and even attacked police officers who tried to intervene when they persisted. On one day they broke into a Tesco Express near Oxford but found the cash machine empty. Two hours later they struck at a Tesco Express in Warwickshire. They knew where these machines were and how to access them. Everyone knew their role, whether it was acting as a lookout or cutting into the machines. The theft of the equipment obviously compromised the ability of the fire service to protect communities. Thankfully, they've now been brought to justice and they'll spend many years behind bars. And guys, in this next news story, a man left his victim unable to speak and having to be fed through a tube after a brutal attack which ultimately killed him. Shane Maloney, who's 26, died nearly 16 months after being hit over the head with a champagne bottle by Dean Hughes, who was under the influence of alcohol, crack, methadone and diazepam. He told his victim, never underestimate a short ass as he lay unconscious in the aftermath of the attack. He said, payback's a bitch. The pair at a house in Lee and had become involved in an argument over a mobile phone. Manchester Crown Court heard Hughes 46 years old, previously admitted causing GBH in relation to the attack and was sentenced to eight years in prison. But following Mr Maloney's death, Hughes was hauled before the courts again and accused of murder and he was found guilty after a trial and is going to be sentenced next week. Mr Maloney, may he rest in peace, suffered a severe brain injury which left him with severe cognitive and physical neurological impairments. He had no speech, a lack of understanding of verbal language and had to be fed through a tube. He never recovered and was placed in a rehabilitation unit where he's dependent on others for his care, the prosecutor said. Prosecutors told how paramedics and police were called to a house in Lee on the evening of November the 8th, 2019. First responders first found out Mr Maloney lying in a ginnel 
at the back of the property. He was unconscious, covered in blood and had a large cut to his head. Hughes was also present at the address along with his girlfriend and Mr Maloney's girlfriend. The two couples had been drinking in the dining room of the home when a row erupted over a mobile phone. The row concerned Mr Maloney's girlfriend's phone which Hughes had borrowed to make a call. Police, who later attended the scene, noticed that Hughes was unsteady on his feet and appeared to be under the influence of drink or drugs. The police officer who attended the address described Hughes as hysterical and said he appeared to have swelling and bruising to his right eye while his hands and clothes were covered in blood. Whilst Mr Maloney was unconscious, video footage captured 5 foot 4 Hughes telling him never underestimate short arse. Mr Maloney was taken to hospital, having suffered bleeding and bruising to the brain as well as a severe skull fracture. The court heard that Hughes was arrested at the scene and repeatedly told officers that Mr Maloney had hit me first. After receiving hospital treatment for his own injuries, Hughes told a police officer, I don't even know the lad, he punched me first and I hit him with the bottle. I punched him back and then I hit him with the bottle a few times and he was on the floor, I kicked him in the head a few times. Mr Maloney, who went on to live in a nursing home following the attack and a resident found him face down in his bed on February the 23rd, 2021. He was taken to hospital where he is believed to have developed aspiration pneumonia. Despite receiving treatment, his condition worsened and he died on the evening of March the 10th, 2021. A post-mortem examination found that Mr Maloney had died from pneumonia and a traumatic head injury. The prosecutor told the jury there is no issue in this case that Mr Maloney died as a result of the injuries he sustained in the attack on November the 8th, 2019. The issue in this case is whether the defendant acted lawfully in inflicting those injuries. The prosecutor said a pathologist had ruled that there was a direct casual link between the development of the fatal chest infection and the original head injury 15 months prior to his death. Giving evidence, it was said, or well, Hugh said that he had hit Mr Maloney with a champagne bottle to prevent him from stabbing him with a steak knife. He said that Mr Maloney had punched him and hit him with a beer bottle. He said I was panicking because he's hitting me. I can remember him then coming towards me with a steak knife. He said he grabbed the steak knife to stop him from stabbing me. He said he let go of the knife because it cut my hands. I turned around and grabbed the champagne bottle with both hands and struck him to the head once. Hugh said he was upset when he later realised how serious Mr Maloney's injuries were and asked why he had admitted the charge of wounding with intent. The defendant said they offered it on the grounds of self-defence with excessive force. But a jury has found Hughes guilty of murder. So guys, there's our new stories coming out from the streets of the UK. Once again, if you already haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Please give this video a little like as well. I'd appreciate it. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.